All right. My name is Eric Tucker. I'm CEO of the Arlington Mansfield Area YMCA right here in our home turf. Uh, we are uh, talking today at our North Branch YMCA, which is up off of Interstate 30 in Arlington, and it's freshly renovated and, and uh, serving thousands of people in this North Arlington community. Um, so if you don't know what the YMCA is, I'm going to tell you real quick so you understand the scope of what we offer and how we came about. You know, we're a, an organization that goes back over 175 years. We founded in 1844 in London, England. And at that time, it was a response to some of the uh, tough issues that were coming out of the Industrial Revolution. You had people moving into the cities. Wellness was from from the beginning what we really focused on because a lot of these kids that were coming in, they weren't eating, they were breathing you know, really tough air, they weren't getting exercise, they weren't getting any sleep. So many of the things that in some ways we're still talking about today, um, the YMCA is still meeting those, those needs. And throughout our history, we've really been a pioneer in the health and wellness space. And so we were one of the first organizations to have what was called muscular Christianity, which was this movement that believed that if you were to take care of yourself physically, then you were also able to have uh, a, a sound spiritual being and a sound mind. And we know how important that that can be. And when you bridge that with what we're currently doing uh, in, in corporate membership and working with companies directly around workplace wellness, you can see all of those years tie in together because in the end, good sleep, eating well, uh, being strong, these are universal and they're timeless. And uh, we're very excited that the YMCA is still uh, doing that to, to this day. And uh, yoga coming to the United States, um, group exercise classes, Really, the, the whole concept around modern coaching, uh, personal training, all came from the YMCA movement. Uh, swimming lessons, the first indoor filtered pools, uh, also came from the Y, the Major League Baseball, uh, football uh, came from the YMCA, as well as uh, basketball, volleyball, and racquetball were all invented as YMCA programs some over 100 years ago. And so we've got this great legacy in our country of, uh, of meeting those, those wellness needs. So uh, everyone has sort of a different conduit going into the Y uh, profession. And for me, I uh, started as a, a summer day camper in uh, Southern Illinois when I was five years old. And my, the way I came up through the Y is I worked at several YMCA camp and conference centers throughout the years in different parts of the country. And while that was largely a youth and family camp program, um, we did implement various aspects of health and wellness. We had women's wellness weekends, we had nature retreats, we had uh, child, mother and father fitness programs and that kind of thing. And I really saw uh, the impact of those programs, proper nutrition and exercise, what they can do, certainly it's impacted my own health, that as I moved up in my Y career and, and had an opportunity to work at several associations across the country, it became more and more important to me and I believe that, you know, for me personally and for my family, the YMCA has been good, uh, you know, from a, a psychological perspective. You know, it's a, a great place to work. It's an energizing place to work. You feel really great about that. And then it, you know, it it makes life better when you can you can move around, when you're mobile, when you're healthy, um, and when you can take that personal experience like I've had, uh, and with my family as well, and you can help promote it in the community then uh, that's an even better thing to feel great about. Uh, I love it, kind of things. I think though the call for the YMCA in particular is much different these days because of you know, kids and their uh, willingness, unwillingness to go outside, to, to play with each other together. Uh, you know, social media has taken up so much more of their time. And so the, the mission of the Y uh, has been redefined in some ways in serving kids. We want to get them outside or in uh, different programs and, and services that they're interacting with each other and they're not over, you know, in a digital space. And then you have all the issues that are related to chronic disease. Uh, you know, diabetes, kids have never been heavier as far as their body weight. One of the things I've been really excited that the Y offers, and it's, it's uh, in coordination, cooperation with the CDC, is a healthy weight in your child program where, you know, we go in and we 
teach and talk to the kids about proper eating, but mom and dad are also part of the program and they learn some of those things, uh, you know, along the way. And, you know, people don't cook as much as they used to, even though with COVID there's been a little bit of a, a bubble up, but now I heard, you know, the restaurant industry's booming again and everybody's eating out. But um, it's more important than ever that we teach kids those healthy habits so they can, and, you know, really improve their life and live longer and healthier and, and all that stuff. I've certainly seen a lot of people um, transform their lives through, you know, good making good habits and, and, and taking advantage of some of the things that the Y, you know, has to offer. Um, there are things that, you know, actively work against us as people in our modern culture, one of which is, you know, overworking, the stress that goes along with that. With the workplace stress or mo managing multiple jobs or, or whatever, um, Things like eating more, eating at the wrong times of day, those types of things start to, to build in. Then you get a lack of sleep, which is probably the most important thing in anyone's life. And so when all of these things compound and people aren't being active and eating right, then it has a, a detrimental effect on their current health and well-being, how they relate to people in their family and their friends. I mean, we've all gotten crabby, right? <laughs> when we haven't slept really well, you know, that kind of thing. And um, you know, it, it's important that, that people be able to, to feel good, get that adequate rest, and then be in an environment where they're also around people that are feeling good. One of the things that we see oftentimes is with our active older adult population. Um, and these are generally people that are Medicare age. They come in through, um, they're either YMCA members directly, or they come in programs like Silver Fit or Silver Sneakers where they're reimbursed by their health insurance uh, providers. and. You know, they do all kinds of working out, you know, they're on their chairs or they're, you know, they're, they do dances, they do all kinds of things. But the biggest benefit is the relationships that they form with each other. And when all of that's done in a healthy space, we've seen great things. Some of our volunteers at the Y, uh, sometimes they'll be working the front desk or they'll be reading to kids. Some of them are in their, their late 90s and they've been coming to the Y for decades. And uh, it's been that constant energy around them that's helped them not only live longer, but live much better, uh, which can be a challenge. I mean, we have, you know, the life expectancy in our country, uh, you know, has been growing over time, um, but that doesn't mean people are living well. I mean, they're on, you know, medications and all kinds of stuff. And, and what you see with corporate wellness um, is that uh, your employee retention is better, productivity is higher, um, and that's because of the things that people are getting that I mentioned, you know, proper eating and sleep and diet and those kind of things. Um, they're dealing with whatever stress happens at work, sometimes at work, because they'll be, you know, working out or being part of a personal training session or whatever. Um, what we really try to do too is recenter people to thinking um, in a way that puts them in a healthy mindset as far as, you know, ha when, when you are um, committed to an exercise program or an eating program, that's where you get the results. And when a company backs that and says it's important, um, it becomes important for the employee too. It keeps healthcare costs down, which is great. Certainly improves um, employee morale. And then there are all kinds of studies about better decision making, you know, more cohesive team building, you know, within um, a group, better time utilization, those kind of things. And so, uh, it's good business for companies to care about their employees' health, for sure.